Hi there, it's Steph. Thanks for popping by. So today's video is to show you uh, how to turn the score line from my SVG file that appear as basic cut in Cricut Design Space into actual score line. So it's a simple process uh, that you need to create at least once when you start your project, uh, but that once you save your project, it will stay like that. So you don't have to do it every time. Um, unless you re-upload the image, but that's up to you. And then if you go in Cricut Design Space, I've uploaded the image already because I'm using it. Um, you click on your SVG and then you click on Add to Canvas. It takes a little while to load on my computer because uh, it's been asked a lot from it today. I've been working on the computer for quite a while. Yeah, here you go. So I turn my, um, I like to turn it around uh, just so that it fills my space and oh here you go and then on the side you can see all the lines and you can see that yellow shape so the yellow shape will be the outline that you're trying to cut out so you will leave that as it is but then on all the lines if you click on the line and then the control button on your keyboard and keep clicking until you get all the lines here we go uh, and then on the left hand side in operation you're going to click down and click on score and if you look on the right hand side it will have changed everything from basic to score and the lines won't be full lines anymore they'll be dotted like well dashed lines um, but it will still be a straight scored line so i set it up so it's a straight score line there won't be any dashes uh, because I think it's a bit better. Um, I found that when I tried once with the little dashes and I thought it took a bit longer and I didn't quite like that. Um, so I quite like straight line, but here the dashes just tell you that it's changed from a basic to a score line basically. So then if you take your mouse and you select your whole project or your whole box and at the bottom of your screen you click on attached, it will put everything together and then you just need to click make it once my disk computer has decided to work. So just one thing I wanted to say is, uh, that's a little box I wanted to show you because I think it's quite nice to see what you can do uh, when you buy a digital file uh, and not just in the photo. So I just wanted to show you. Uh, and then you just press it down and open the sides. So I am using some cardstock that is 230 GSM, I believe, uh, from the works in the UK. It's a nice floral pattern, but they have loads of different cardstock. And I'm sure if you're in the US, you have loads of different cardstock as well. It's quite a sturdy, I'll make you hear so. It's quite a sturdy cardstock. Uh, I do like a hot glue gun if I'm going to put something heavy in it. But if you're not going to put something heavy, I think the ball sided tape will be fine. Um, and then, you know, it's easy to put together uh, and they cut out quite easily and you can get quite a few in a short amount of time and I think it's quite handy for weddings and kids birthday parties, I made some Halloween and Mother's Day, Christmas, I think you can do everything to be honest, uh, you just need to have the right car stock for it. So I hope the video is useful, uh, as I said it's quite straightforward so don't let that put you off. Um, if you're coming from my Etsy shop, thank you for visiting. Uh, if you're coming from YouTube, please do head over to my Etsy shop if you want to see all the SVG files I have. I have boxes and I have quotes uh, and I'm adding up to my shop on a regular basis. If you have any question, please ask them below and I will try to get back to you. And please, if you don't mind, give it a thumbs up. That would be really helpful. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day. Bye!